Hello everybody, welcome back to my one minute video learning. In this session, I will be talking about the different sections available under a resident account. We know that DigiLocker system is a cloud based solution given by the Indian government to store document electronically on the cloud platform and share it accordingly as and when it is needed. So there are three different stakeholders. One is called the user or the resident. And now we'll be looking at the different sections which are available within his own account. The first one is dashboard. This section is the first page you see when you log in and show summary of all your documents. The second one is called issued documents. This section shows you the URI links of the documents or certificate issued to you by the government department or other agencies participating in the DigiLogger. For example, an Aadhaar card uh, is actually an issued document or your passport is an issued document. The third one that you have is uploaded document. The DigiLocker system also allows you to upload your other documents which are not necessarily issued by other agencies. Uh, see for example your photos or your uh, other, other documents. So uploaded document. This section shows you all the documents which are uploaded by you. You can update the document type, e-sign and share these uploaded documents. These documents which are private in nature can also be shared with others when you are doing that they can be uh, e-signed that means they can be attested uh, so to say self-attested by you the fourth section is called shared documents this section shows you the list of documents which you have shared with others through an email activity this section is a log of activities you performed in your digital log account this log includes the details about the activities such as file upload sharing download etc and also the number of times that you have used the e-sign facility the last one called is called issuers this section lists the department and agencies that are registered under digital locker as issuers if these departments have issued any document certificate to you it will appear in the form of an uri in your issued document section so this way an user will be having provision to upload and he can also access the documents which are given by the issuers